Okay, so looking at the capture cards, these there's a variety of these cheaper ones that have come on board. You can see the different types. Some have a longer cable that have a USB on and they have a little box on them, which I also use. You've got the HDMI ones, such as this one, which allows you HDMI on one side, USB on another side, but there's difference in prices. You can see the Elgato option, which is a bit more pricey. However, that has 4K capabilities. This one tops out at 1080p video at 30 frames a second so if you are putting a playstation into this and playing a game that's not going to be too good for you you probably want something at 60 frames a second so you don't get glitches and everything looks a bit more smooth so if you're looking at video capture cards make sure you you know what the differences are if you're not sure let me know i can help you answer the questions and let you know what steer you in the right direction as it were because there's different options for different purposes if you're making a video and you're sitting down you could use a cheap card for this kind of thing because there's not much activity happening here. We're not doing any intense gaming. We're basically just talking, which would be perfectly fine for something like this. But if you had a, a capture card that you wanted gaming for, you'll need to be looking at the Elgato. And the Elgato offers more options, especially with um, broadcast and live streaming. And it's a lot more designed for higher use in terms of frame rates. So that gives you an idea of that. Hoping that helps you with that.